Hello everybody, my name is John Kinzel and I'm a game developer from Madison, Wisconsin, currently working as an associate environment artist at Raven Software, hence the t-shirt. They're not involved, by the way. I'm an employee of Activision Blizzard and everything I say from here on out is of my own opinion. And today what we're going to do is learn how to do smooth crouching in Unreal Engine using C++. And the reason we're going to do that is I do not like any of the existing implementations you find online in the forums. There are tons of forum posts about this and I don't like them. Either they tell you to basically re-implement crouching, which you miss out on all of the built-in features of the crouch system that's already there. Or they tell you to attach the camera to a camera boom and enable camera lag and fiddle with the settings. Yuck. Ugh, just... Mm, no, I hate that. I hate that. So we're going to be doing it the way that Epic does it. It's something I took the code from originally Unreal Tournament. Uh, however, they actually used it in Lyra uh, when they released it a few months ago. So you could say it's pretty official. And with that, let's get started. Now you can see here that I have a basic character set up. It has WASD movement, uh, jumping, crouching using the default implementation. Crouch and uncrouch. You press control, it crouches. You let go of, un of control, it uncrouches. And here is actually what happens. It's absolutely disgusting. Has some nice features, like I said, but it's absolutely disgusting. It's atrocious. Imagine starting out in Unreal Engine and you go, oh, hey, there's a crouch and uncrouch function. I'll just use those and then meeting that right in the face. It's absolutely atrocious. Let's fix that. Let's go into our header file and create two U properties. Edit defaults only, edit defaults only, blueprint read write and category equals uh, crouch. Uh, we're going to create an f vector called crouch i offset. We're going to create another variable, which is going to be a float crouch speed. And the three extra functions that we need to create are already included in the class. We just have to override them. First is the void on start crouch. If you don't have visual assist, you can just copy this function signature or get it from the parent class. I believe that comes from the character class. And then we need on end crouch. Here's the fun function signature. You can copy that from the character class. And then we have void calc camera. This comes from the actor class. All three of those are necessary in order to get this done. Let's create the method implementations using visual assist, or you can create them by hand. Visual assist just makes things easier. So for the CPP file, the one thing we're going to do is set crouch I offset to be a zero vector. This isn't necessary. I believe that the system does it for you, but it's nice to be explicit about these things. And then crouch speed, we'll put to 12.f. For on start crouch, this is called when the crouching is actually done. Oops, I forgot that. Uh, first, we're going to check to see if half height adjust equals zero. If it does, then just don't do anything. Just return. We can copy that to the end crouch. Uh, save off the base eye height by going start base eye height. Excuse me. Eye height equals base eye height. And then call the super, which will actually finish the crouching. And then we just have to get the delta and put that in the crouch eye offset. Dot Z plus equals start base eye height minus base eye height. That will get the delta plus half height adjust and then we're going to set the camera to the location f vector 0.f 0.f and base i height false uh for the on end crouch literally the exact same thing except we're calling on end crouch and then we are subtracting the half height adjust which comes in from the uh, capsule once that's done we go to the calc camera and here, what we're going to do is first check to see if the player camera exists, which we really should be doing up here, but I am not made of time. We're going to go player camera, get camera view, give it the delta time and the out result parameter, which is being passed in by reference. We get the out result location and we add in the crouch eye offset. And that's it for that function. And then once that's done, go to tick and wind the crouch eye offset down to zero using a standard linear interpolation. Let's uh, create a crouch inter time variable. And this is going to be using the min function, the elmendrita. Uh, yes, I'm full of wheel of time references today. Crouch speed times delta time, whatever is lower. Uh, we will obviously want to scale up by delta time. We go crouch eye offset equals 1.f minus crouch uh, interp time times crouch i offset 
That's a standard linear interpolation algorithm that will wind it down to zero and thus should give us a nice smooth crouch. And here you are, smooth crouching. There you go, simple. Now, if you're curious as to what's happening, before we send the view info off to the renderer to render from, you know, where the eyes are, where they're pointing, we're basically offsetting it by the crouch offset. So when we crouch, we take the start position of where our, where our eyes are. And then we, after we're done crouching, we get the position there, we get the delta, and we snap the view back up, basically negating it. However, when that crouch offset doesn't equal zero, it's always winding down to zero. So when we snap it back up, it starts winding down to zero over several frames, and it just offsets nice and smoothly down to the crouch position. And then when we uncrouch, uh, the camera snaps up here, we snap the camera view back down, and then crouch offset winds back down to zero. And that's really about it. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed.